Well, today I'm going to tell you a big secret about Ball's Fresh Tech Jam and Jelly Maker. It's just not for jam and jelly. It's also for making pizza sauce. So come along. I'll show you how. Okay, so let's recap. I had a tablespoon of butter inside my pan here. And then I put a tablespoon of olive oil. And then I have one and a half cups of my uh, diced sweet onion. And I let that go ahead and I sauteed it up in my Ball Fresh Tech Jam and Jelly Maker here. I put it on the jam setting. And then I pushed the enter button and I allowed the machine here to do the caramelization of my onions for me. So what happened is it did that and it sounded off and now we're going on to our next step which would be we're going to be adding one teaspoon of sugar alright here's my one teaspoon of sugar and you want to evenly put that on the bottom of your pan you're going to want to add one fourth cup of red cooking wine going to want to add three tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. You're going to want to add four cloves of minced garlic. I'm not using the fresh, but I'm using uh, the dried minced. So I'm going to put the equivalency of the dry garlic in and then you're going to want two teaspoons of salt half a teaspoon of pepper And then I have four and a half pounds of Roma tomatoes that are peeled and mostly deseeded. And I went ahead and I chopped them up. So let's go down here and push our jam button again. And go up here and push our enter button and let our machine go ahead and work its little magic of mixing this all up and thickening it up a little bit and in 21 minutes I'll see you oh yeah you also want to put your cover on so go ahead and put your cover on and I'll see you in 21 let's take a little peek at it Oh yeah, it's looking really nice. Now we're going to cook it down. We're going to let it continue to go down and on its cycle. And if you want to run it through another cycle, go ahead, feel free to. You're going to want to cook it down to whatever desired uh, thickness or consistency that you would like to have your pizza sauce at. So... 
it's all into your hands at you know if you want thin sauce running it through the first time like this would be fine if you want a little bit thicker I would run it through a second time it's all up to you but continue to let it let it it's do its little magic like I like to say and we'll see you at the end Okay, we're almost done. It will be sounding off. It's looking pretty good. And I think I'm going to get my immersion blender and I'm going to give it a few mm -mm -mm with it. Because I don't like mine to be this chunky. I like mine to be more of a smoother sauce. But if you like yours to be chunky, go ahead, leave it like this. And there the machine is sounding off. Okay, I took my immersion blender to it and I blended mine up. Like I said, you don't have to if you don't want to. It's your pizza sauce, so you make it the way that you like to have yours. So, I'm making mine smooth because that's how I like mine. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give this a taste and sit there and see if it needs any more seasonings or anything. And I want you to do the same. That's pretty good. Okay, now you can leave it this way and we can can it this way or if you would like to add a little bit of your own seasonings like uh, pizza seasoning, go ahead and add a little bit of it to it. Okay, that's my pizza dough that's ready. So, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let this cool down a little bit. And I think I'm going to cook mine half of a jelly session. Just to thicken it up just a tad more. So, I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, let's go take a look. Oh yeah, it's looking real nice. Okay, the machine just sounded off, so let's have a look. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Mm. Okay, let's go ahead and remove our stirring arm. I'm going to take that quick over to the sink. Grab your debubbler and go ahead and debubble. Just gonna go ahead and just make sure I did it. I debubbled to put any of the sauce accidentally up on the rim. So, and then finger tighten your canning ring onto your canning jar, and there you go.